Patrick Kent on the mic spits like Flojo. First we're all blinking, and then we Debo. Ask me for something, it's quid pro quo. I work for baby bun cakes and Coke Zero. Here's the situation. <laughs> Fish oil capsules. Pete wants me to eat two of them for $40. Chris dollar bills. So I, of course, I'm going to do it. Which is what I paid for the entire bottle of 300. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Are you ready? Drum roll, please, back. <laughs> Arizona hates Mexicans unless they're making the lawns green again. You'll have to show your papers if you are not white. And Hitler thought that sounds alright. Happy birthday. Mouth dexterity, it's important. Number one for the Chicago Cubs, the right fielder. Sudoku Fukudome. What, how do you say his name? Kusoke. Kosuke. I know, but it's like an obstacle course for your mouth. Kazuke Fukudome. Kosuke, Kosuke Fukudome. Fuduke Kusudo. How, how do you say his name? For the Chicago Cubs, Kusuke Fukudome. Did I say his wrong? Kosuke? I want to take your mom on a date. It's an ancient term. Dad, it's taken me over 20 years to, uh, hold on a second, I'll just, uh, it's an ancient, it's an ancient term. The Super Bowl is back. And that could only mean two things. One, I get to eat dip all day, societal mores. And two, it's time for the VBU dial contest. Yeah, motherfucker. Free for all. Team versus team. Freedom isn't free. Who's gonna win? Who knows? A hand without a spoon is hand shackled. The contest is on, mama. Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Take home the whole ham. A whole hock of ham! XYZ. Shit. My buddy calls the, uh, the just the other day, it just happened, this is a quick example, <coughs> and just says, hey, yeah, I'm in town, uh, my grandma passed away, can I stay at your house? And I was like, absolutely, my condolences. My condolences, that's fine. But that's so dumb, I don't even know what the word means. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, I imagine it means all the things that I would say if I was comfortable with feelings. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine when I'm saying it. That's... You know? <laughs> it's like a, a hug. A, a words hug. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. I it's guess. like it doesn't really affect my life, but words hug. Yeah. It's kind of my yeah. compassion so and good thoughts and, and empathy if you had it. Right? <laughs> I mean, I have empathy. So anyway, so I take this job in Schaumburg, and on like my third day in the job, I have no nothing yet. I, they have it's oh, I was a youth minister, like a cat. I would do like yeah. youth groups. Um, so I have nothing. I don't have an office. I don't have a desk. They they converted the garage into an office for me. Nice. Uh, but they're like, she was like, dress up tomorrow. We got a funeral to go to, and I was like, what? And so it wasn't a funeral though. It was just the, um. It was just the you go to where they have the casket open, but at the the wake, morgue, the viewing, yeah, viewing wake sort of thing. And I don't know who this person is, and it was a total surprise the, to at me. At the funeral home, not at the morgue, right? I don't know what the difference is. Honestly, <laughs> is the morgue isn't? I've seen six feet under. Isn't that a morgue? Uh, that's a funeral home. The morgue is like the place the state pronounces people dead, and they like you have to not, identify they have to take the them there body. to pronounce them dead. From yeah, the hospital? I think so. No, they pronounce them dead wherever they're Well, there's they're a died. morgue in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, but you get pronounced dead wherever you die, and then they take you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's and pre the funeral ice. home. Yeah. So the funeral home does all the makeup and the embalming and stuff. <coughs> right. Or whatever. I don't know the process. Uh, six Feet Under, though, guys. Watch that. Great, great show. Um, yeah. So 
so I go up. So the, it's totally sprung on me that it's an open casket. So we're standing in line, and I notice that, and I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to see a dead body. Because you never have. Uh, I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't <sighs> think I've ever seen one at that time. Okay. So I was like, ugh, oh, and I don't even know the person. So what I was more concerned about is how what's the appropriate amount of time to sit there staring at a dead body of someone I've never even heard of. I've never met them or heard of them. Yeah. I'm just there as part of this new staff that I've been a part of three days. And, and you're like in a line that's about to go by it. Yeah. So okay. I'm sort of mentally timing as people are. <laughs> <laughs> that's so honest. Timing it out. <laughs> even know what to say about that yeah so i'm t each person but then everyone's so different so then i was like okay i'm gonna just i'm just going for a good 20 count okay so uh so i get up there <laughs> <laughs> um yeah who knows what that was <laughs> they're doing construction all around uh so i get up there and as the viewers well know and by viewers, you mean listeners. Listeners, obviously, yeah. I mean that. Um, I have epilepsy, so I have seizures sometimes. Oh, my gosh, Pat. What? Oh, no. you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. So I get up there, and apparently after roughly half a second, I have a seizure. <laughs> and I just, I turn around from viewing the body, and, and I just do, I do, I don't know what happens, but sometimes, depending on my age, Sometimes I'll do like bebop music, like scabadoo bop, beep, ba -dee, ba -dop. I'll make those sounds. I've witnessed those. Yeah, you've, you've witnessed that. And then I'll just go, what? <laughs> yep. As I'm coming out of the seizure, because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no. That is not what happened here. <coughs> Another okay. one of the manifestations of the seizure is I'll snap my fingers <laughs> like that. And that is what I did. <laughs> And then I said, what? No. <laughs> and I'm looking around and I'm, and then I turn around and I was like, oh. <laughs> Surprised. <It's not. laughs> and then, so you I was like, oh, me. and then I just walked. So then my boss was behind me and she's like. Wait, so you are the brand new youth pastor. Brand new. Yeah. Nobody knows no me. No one knows you in the church. Nobody knows I have seizures. <laughs> Look at this. So on the ride home. And when people think oh. of seizures, that's not what they think of. No, they of. think of shaky, shaky fish on the floor. Right. <laughs> you just snapped it up. 